On behalf of the Washburn University Board of Regents, the faculty, administration, and staff, I welcome you to this commencement in Washburn University's 151st year. And now, please stand or remain standing and join members of the Washburn Singers under the direction of Dr. Kevin Kellum in the singing of our national anthem. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming, whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight o'er the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming, and the rocket's red Bombs bursting in air gave proof through the night that our flag was still there. Oh, say, does that star spangled banner yet wave o'er the land of the free and the Please be seated. I want to thank Dr. Kellum who conducted the choir. The music department is such an important part of Washburn and we are so pleased members of the Washburn Singers are here with us today. Let's give them another round of applause. Our university singers will perform again later in our ceremony today. Also, please join me in expressing thanks to Mrs. Norma Pettijohn organist and the Washburn faculty brass quintet for providing music today. I would like to direct your attention to the international flags surrounding the commencement platform. In recognizing Washburn University's impact locally, nationally, and globally, the flags that have been posted represent the countries of the world which have had students attend Washburn. These countries are represented by flags above the commencement platform. Flags along the sides of the podium represent countries which currently have students attending Washburn. And now, Mr. Blake Porter, outgoing president of the Washburn Student Government Association, will introduce the platform party. To my fellow graduates, congratulations. I think I speak for us all when I say that it wasn't easy, but thanks to the help from our professors, advisors, and many others, we have made it to graduation. Over the years, we have learned some valuable lessons that we will use for years to come. For example, we learned about the value of teamwork through many of our group projects. Through writing papers, we have learned how to conduct scholarly research. And because many of us worked during our time at Washburn, we can also appreciate the value of time management. On a more lighthearted note, we have also learned how much caffeine is safe for the human body to consume, <laughs> just how far we can stretch our printing allotment and maybe library, and the exact amount of steps it takes to get to the third floor of Henderson. When we came here as starry-eyed freshmen, we didn't even know the difference between Stouffer Science Hall and Stouffer Commons. Now we are prepared to leave Washburn and spend an entire life explaining to people what exactly an Ichabod is. And now I would like to introduce the platform party. Please stand as I call your name and remain standing until all are introduced. Dr. Cynthia Hornberger, Special Assistant to the President and Professor, School of Nursing and Grand Marshal. And Grand Marshal. Dr. Denise Ottinger, Vice President for Student Life. Dr. Richard Lidke, Executive Director, Enrollment Management. Dr. Alan Behrman, Dean, University Libraries and Professor, History Department. Dr. David Price, Assistant Professor, School of Business. Dr. Marion Jamison, Associate Dean and Professor, School of Nursing. Mr. Mark Freed, University Legal Counsel. Mr. Rick Anderson, Vice President for Administration and Treasurer. Ms. Dawn Dennis, Vice President of the Washburn University Alumni Association Board of Directors. Dr. Pat Munzer, Dean, School of Applied Studies. Dr. Laura Stevenson, Dean, College of Arts and Sciences. 
Mr. Terry Beck, Board of Regents. Mrs. Blanche Park, Board of Regents. Mr. Paul Hofer, Board of Regents. Dr. Randall Pembroke, Vice President for Academic Affairs. Dr. Monica Scheibmeyer, Dean, School of Nursing. Dr. David Sollers, Dean, School of Business. Mr. John McGivern, Vice Chair, Board of Regents. Mr. Mayo Schmidt, Honorary Degree Recipient. Mr. William Sneed, Chair, Board of Regents. Dr. Jerry Farley, President. Please be seated. Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to this ceremony today. I'm going to take a moment of personal privilege to say something to two of our colleagues who are retiring this year, two people that have spent a long time, many years, at Washburn University, have served this university well. First is Dr. Cindy Hornberger, Special Assistant to the President. She and I have worked together for a long time now. And Denise Ottinger, Vice President for Student Life. She has served the university for from the beginning of the Living Learning Center occupancy on this campus through to today. Many years of service. I personally will miss them and I will professionally miss them. They have done a wonderful service to Washburn University. Thank you. I would like to share with you today a few thoughts. But first, I'd like to say thank you for all of the family that are here today to support these graduates. You have given them a lot of, of comfort, I'm certain. You have soothed some of their anxiety, and you have made their time here at Washburn, I'm sure, a little bit better. And to the faculty who have provided similar kinds of comfort to students in addition to providing them with an excellent, excellent reputa uh, academic reputation and investment in their education. You graduates deserve to be proud today. And we celebrate this achievement with you. We, as an academic community, treasure education and that you are carrying that forward from today. I'd also like to share a few comments with you about some challenges that we face as educated citizens of the world. As a graduate of Washburn University, you are a part of a heritage that is also uniquely American. As part of this heritage, we hope that you will assume responsibility to enlighten and uplift the next generation. Just as with many previous generations, today we face challenging times in our nation and our state. There seems to be an ever-increasing number of ways to polarize and separate ourselves from one another. Divisive, ideological difference are particularly troubling. Now this is not to say that persons should not have the strength of their convictions. We live in a society, however, where people have different views. We live in a world where there are many different views. You should be passionate about your ideas and about your values and about your beliefs. But we hope that during your time here at Washburn, we have helped you to learn how to think for yourselves. We call it critical thinking skills. I hope you've also learned how to discuss and to debate civilly. We learn when we listen to others who don't think the way we do, who don't have the same ideas that we have. We learn from them. Now, this doesn't mean that you can't have your own ideas and that you should be satisfied with being told what to think. You should not. We hope that you have developed the skills to form your own opinions based upon a wide range of ideas from many different perspectives and that you will actively engage in civil discourse. Dr. Stephen Carter in his book on civility points out that civil discourse has not occurred just because we are nice 
and do not get into an argument with one another. He feels that civil discourse has not occurred until boundaries have been crossed. Without some disagreement, without some argument, there's no civil discourse. We must talk with and most importantly listen to one another in order to disagree with one another. We must speak honestly as well as speaking decently. Carter defines civility as, quote, the sum of many sacrifices we are all called upon to make for the sake of living together, end quote. Civil discourse is an intricate part of every academic discipline. As new learning or discoveries take place, they must be presented and they must move forward in the discipline. Think about Galileo for a moment, introducing his discovery that the earth moved around the sun and then having to face the Spanish Inquisition. Now, it may be a natural inst instinct for most of us to resist change. Change does not occur easily. So new knowledge and new ideas meet resistance. There must be discourse to explain, to disagree, to resist, and finally to find a common ground where we compromise and move on together. One of the unique things about our humanity is that we are called to use our brains. You don't just check them at the door. Thinking is an essential part of living in a democracy. When you allow people to think for themselves, there will inevitably be some disagreements. In the process of discussing controversial ideas, disagreement may also ensue. There may be discord and debates. Too often, too often in today's world, we hear people stating their position in an absolutist, confrontational manner. They belittle or personally attack those who disagree with them. And they employ stereotypes and use language that is hurtful and hateful to various individuals and groups. As I said, it's perfectly acceptable, encouraged to have strong opinions, but it's important to understand and respect, respect the unique view of others when expressing your opinions. An educated person is always learning. Even though you encounter disagreement and conflict, you have learned the skills to maintain an atmosphere of mutual respect. Active listening with your undivided attention and respect are both at the top of any list of civil discourse. In today's world of texting, iPads, cell phones, giving and getting someone's full attention has become more and more challenging. When you're not looking someone in the eye as you are talking with them, your communications may be interpreted and may seem as though they're impersonal, that is almost anonymous, and many times it may tread on being disrespectful. In this country, our government, our way of living, is based on a democratic dialogue where individuals are free to express their ideas without fear of reprisal and regardless of how repugnant some of those ideas may be or regardless of how much they may differ from what we believe. We must take responsibility and we must take leadership in creating environments in which dialogue flourishes and everyone is respected. Civility fosters a deep self-awareness. It may even be characterized as a true respect for others. Civility requires the extremely hard work of staying present even with those with whom we have deep-rooted and perhaps fierce disagreements. Civility is about constantly being open to hear to learn, to teach, and to change. 
Civility seeks common ground as a beginning point for dialogue when differences occur. While at the same time, we recognize that differences are enriching and inevitable. It is patience, grace, and strength of character which will endure. We can do better at agreeing to disagree without being disrespectful. After all, respect for disagreement is one of the basic tenets of our democratic way of life. Democracy is about, democracy is about living with those who are different from ourselves. It's about going to school with those who come from different cultures. It's about who we may think about differently because they don't look like, act like, or sound like us. I feel fortunate to be a part of this country and to be a part of this university that embraces the mind, civility, and reason itself. Remember, learning never ends. Congratulations on your success to this point in your education. Thank you. Thank you. At this time, Mr. William Sneed, Chair of the Washburn University Board of Regents, will confer an honorary degree to Mr. Mayo Schmidt. Regent McGivern, will you escort Mayo Schmidt to the center stage for the conferring of the Honorary Doctor of Commerce? We invite everyone to turn to page 39 in your program to read about Mr. Smith's accomplishments. <clears throat> Be it known that in as much as honorary degrees are awarded to men and women who, because of scholarly contributions, meritorious public service, or other noteworthy achievements, have come into universal high regard, the Board of Regents of Washburn University does therefore confer upon Mayo Schmidt the degree Doctor of Commerce with all the rights, privileges, and insignia pertaining thereto in testimony whereof this diploma is issued with the signatures of the President and the Chair of the Board of Regents and the seal of the University affixed at Topeka, Kansas on this 14th day of May, 2016. <clears throat> Mayo, for your leadership, your support of higher education, and your dedication to helping others, Washburn University honors you and itself by conferring upon you this honorary degree. In token thereof, I cause you to be vested with the appropriate academic hood and grant you this diploma. Well, thank you, Dr. Farley and Dean Sollers. What a privilege it is to be here uh, with former, a former graduate of this university. It's a real pleasure. And uh, I can't help, uh, help but note as I look around the arena from which you're graduating in today and welcome you to the arena in which I do business for the last 30 years. And I, I know you'll come well prepared and enabled to be competitive, to be on your front foot, to be aggressive, be disciplined, and be thoughtful. Uh, one thing that I reflected upon as I was sitting here looking at the graduates walking in, you're already in a position where you begin to influence others with your graduation from this esteemed university, and I hope you'll use that opportunity to affect others. Because often, through your journey in business, and however you choose private or public practice, you'll find often the opportunity to contribute, you'll see great rewards, you'll see great challenges, 
to do the right things, to live within your values, and also think about it is what you leave behind as much as what you take that is going to be a judge of your effectiveness as a leader in the future. So I welcome you into the public and private practice. It's a highly competitive arena that operates seven days a week, 24 hours a day. And every day you wake up, there'll be new challenges. Don't, be, uh, don't let your enthusiasm be lessened by the things that uh, get challenging and get hard. Learn from those things, as Dr. as Dr. Farley said. They are things that will make you stronger and uh, quietly revel in the things of your successes. So I welcome you to, uh, as, as graduates today, and thank you for the opportunity to be here with you. It's a privilege after these years as I uh, continue my journey and my profession. Thank you. Congratulations, Mayo. The road to graduation from Washburn University should offer students more than the completion of an array of courses that is then rewarded with a diploma. Graduates should be given the opportunity to be transformed by their Washburn experience. The goal of a higher education institution is not to turn out graduates, but to graduate students who turn out to be highly principled citizens who make a difference in society. Students pursuing an undergraduate degree have the opportunity to participate in up to four different transformational experiences before graduation. These Washburn transformational experiences are described on page six of your program. Today we would like to recognize those students who have completed one or more WTE experiences by asking them to stand at this time. Students, if you have completed a WTE, please stand. Please join me in recognizing the accomplishments of these students with a special round of applause. Very impressive. You may be seated. We are pleased to have students representing the following countries and graduating with degrees from Washburn University at this ceremony. Would our international students please stand and remain standing as your country is mentioned? Brazil. China, Hong Kong, Paraguay, the Philippines, Poland, Saudi Arabia, Tajikistan. Let's give them a round of applause. You may be seated. Dr. Farley will now introduce the Sibberson Award finalists and recipient for the School of Business and the finalists and recipient for the School of Nursing Spring 2016 graduating classes. Dr. Farley. Thanks to a generous gift to Washburn University by Erna and Gretchen Sibberson, an award has been established to honor the most deserving students selected from among the highest ranking members of the senior class in the undergraduate program at each commencement. Based on their academic performance, two students have been selected as Siberson Award finalists from the School of Business, and three students have been selected as Siberson Award finalists from the School of Nursing. The five finalists and their accomplishments are listed in your program beginning on page 40. I ask each finalist to stand as I call your name and please remain standing until all have been introduced. Xiao Yin. Xiao Yin is graduating with a Bachelor of Business Administration degree with a concentration in finance. Shi Ya, Di Shi Ya, is graduating with a Bachelor of Business Administration degree with a concentration in accounting. Jordan Emmert. Jordan is graduating with a Bachelor of Science in Nursing degree. Kayla Hurl. Kayla is graduating with a Bachelor of Science in Nursing degree with a minor in Leadership Studies. Blair Langdon. Blair is graduating with a Bachelor of Science degree in Nursing. To these students, excellent students, and their friends and their families, we extend our congratulations 
on your outstanding academic achievements. Please be seated. We have created a review committee to analyze and to review all of the materials provided to us for those that are finalists in the Siberson Award. That committee has met, reviewed the credentials of the finalists, and selected the recipient. And for School of Business, that recipient is Xiao Yin Wang. Cheyenne, would you please come forward? Sorry. Cheyenne is graduating with a Bachelor of Business Administration and Finance degree. In September of 2016, she will begin her postgraduate study at the University of Edinburgh in England, specializing in accounting and finance. In the future, she plans to sit for the CPA and the CFA exams and work as a financial executive in a multinational corporation. Cheyenne is a wonderful lifetime member of Beta Gamma Sigma Honor Society and a member of Phi Kappa Phi Honor Society and Beta Alpha Psi Honor Society. She is graduating summa cum laude Latin honors. That's amazing. Cheyenne, for your outstanding academic achievement, Washburn University is proud and honored to present you with the School of Business Spring 16 Siberson Award. Congratulations. And from the School of Nursing, the committee has recommended Blair Langdon. Will you please come forward to be recognized as the School of Nursing Siberson Award recipient. Blair is graduating with a Bachelor of Science in Nursing degree. In July of 2016, she will begin work as a registered nurse at the Mayo Clinic Orthopedic Trauma Post-Surgical Unit in Rochester, Minnesota. In the future, she plans to pursue a master's degree in clinical nurse education and participate in a medical mission trip to India. She is a member of Alpha Lambda Delta, the NOSO Honor Society, Phi Kappa Phi, Mortar Board, Sigma Theta Tau, and Who's Who. She is also a member of Washburn's Honor Program, Honors Program. Blair complete, competed on the Washburn Mock Trial Team and completed an international transformational experience with a nursing honors project computing stroke rehabilitation methods in Japan and the United States. She also finished a scholarly WTE through her completion of the university's honors program. Blair, for your outstanding academic achievements, Washburn University is proud and honored to present you the School of Nursing Spring 16 Siberson Award. To honor these Siberson finalists, as well as all our graduates, we have a special presentation of a new piece that was created specifically for our 150th anniversary celebration last year. It is entitled, Ichabod's In All We Do. The lyrics to this piece were written by alumna Phyllis Hoffman, BA, Fall 1986, and can be found on the inside cover of your program. Dr. Callum? Washburn, we yearn to wander your bright halls. Books beneath us as peaceful waterfalls. As sunlight gleams, so many dawning dreams echo from the tower shine. 
Thank you, Dr. Kellum and the University Singers. We're so glad you are with us today. We shall now proceed to the conferring of degrees. We ask that parents, relatives, and friends use one of the areas in front to the right or left of the stage designated for taking photographs so as not to obstruct the graduates or the professional photographers. The Master of Science in Nursing candidates from the School of Nursing will be presented by Dr. Monica Scheibmeyer, Dean of the School of Nursing. Will the candidates for the Master of Science in Nursing please rise? President Farley, those before you and in abstentia are candidates for the Master of Science in Nursing degree. I'm pleased to present to you now for the conferring of their degree those who have completed their requirements and have been recommended by the faculty. Thank you, Dean Schadmauer. By virtue of the authority vested in me by the Board of Regents of Washburn University, I hereby confer upon those who have completed the requirements the degree Master of Science in Nursing with all the honors, rights, privileges, and responsibilities pertaining thereto. Would you please come forward as directed by the marshals. The master's degree represents more than 30 academic credit hours of advanced study beyond a bachelor's degree. We are preparing to award the Master of Science in Nursing to 15 students today from the School of Nursing. As they are making their way to the podium, Please join me in a round of applause in recognition of the special level of accomplishment of these graduates. Amy Baker, Andrew David Lynn Barnes, Angela Serena Degen and James Michael Patrick Cohen.
Michelle Therese Eakes and Carrie Ann Horton. Rachel Luthi and Ashley Irene Lichmeyer. Pamela J. Masters and Shauna Jean Mitchell. Jill Nitchie and Alicia Sater. Amanda Whitson. So let's give our master students a round of applause. Next, degree candidates from the School of Business will be presented by Dr. David Sollers, Dean of the School of Business. Will all the candidates for a master's degree please rise? President Farley, those before you and in absentia are candidates for the Master of Accountancy or the Master of Business Administration degree. I am pleased to present to you now for the conferring of their degree those who have completed the requirements and have been recommended by the faculty. Thank you, Dean Sollers. By virtue of the authority vested in me by the Board of Regents of Washburn University, I hereby confer upon those who have completed the requirements the appropriate degree with all of the honors, rights, privileges, and responsibilities pertaining thereto. Would you please come forward as directed by the marshals. The master's degree is the highest level of educational attainment in the School of Business and represents more than 30 academic credit hours of advanced study beyond a bachelor's degree. We are preparing to award the master's of accountancy degree to eight students and the master of business administration degree to 17 students today from the School of Business. 
As they're making their way to the podium, please join me in a round of applause in recognition of the special level of accomplishments of these graduates. Lance Robert Burkholder. <laughs> Andrea May Forbes. Alyssa Rose Gertis. <laughs> Griselda Mora. Monica F. Shelton. Abdullah Ahmad Bell. Sh Shadi Alam Lehi. <laughs> Robert Miller Chipman. Victoria E. Fuglista. Abia Ali Jerry, Matthew Paul Clouse. Nathan Ray Montague, Musinjan Mohammed Jonov. Hashad Govin Fadke, Jeffrey Scott Schmidlein. Patrick Anthony Schmidtline, Abigail Robin Zimmerman.
Let's give our master's students a round of applause. Next, will the candidates for the Bachelor of Business Administration degree please rise. President Farley, those before you and in absentia are candidates for the Bachelor of Business Administration degree. I am pleased to present to you now for the conferring of their degree those who have completed the requirements and have been recommended by the faculty. Thank you, Dean. By virtue of the authority vested in me by the Board of Regents of Washburn University, I hereby confer upon those who have completed the requirements the Bachelor a business administration degree with all of the honors, the rights, the responsibilities, and the privileges pertaining thereto. Would you please be seated until the marshals ask you to stand and come forward. Thank you. James R. Anderson. Tyler Bradley Bailey. Alexa Ann Bowen, School of Business Scholar, Summa Cum Laude. Alec J. Boyd. Cameron Christopher Brown. Lena Marcella Cannon. Melissa Diane Carswell, School of Business Scholar, Magnum Cum Laude. Sage Hescalachi Cornelius. Tori Davis. Mariana Yoshida, School of Business Scholar. Spencer K. Elkington, Magna Cum Laude. Abigail Eileen Fair, Cum Laude. Abigail Morgan Fiedler. Nahivi G. Frega Medellin. Chamberlain Sage Gaddy. Brenda G. Garay. Eli Taylor Garak. Jake Spencer Gregg, School of Business Scholar, Cum Laude. Jamie L. Guffey. Zachary Michael Hola. (laughs) 
Marcella Ann Haskell. Nathan T. Hollingshead. Nathan Wesley Hurd. Kayla Beth Johnson, School of Business Scholar, Summa Cum Laude. Chuk Hai Jeremy Kao. Kaylee Christine King. Charles R. Knutson. Arik Alexander Kuzatsk, School of Business Scholar, Magnum Cum Laude. Mark William Latimer, School of Business Scholar, Summa Cum Laude. Alexander Madison Laughlin. Jun Nan Ma. Dylan D. McDonald. Catherine Elizabeth Metzger. Evan Roy Meachin, School of Business Scholar, Summa Cum Laude. Sean Harrison Miller. Zachary J. Motes. Lauren Elizabeth Moon, School of Business Scholar, Magnum Cum Laude. Dario Pricinio Munez Poletti, School of Business Scholar, Magna Cum Laude. <laughs> Dustin Ray Myers, School of Business Scholar. <laughs> Kayla Rose Nukiwa Oniki, School of Business Scholar, Magnum Cum Laude. Gabrielle Blaine O'Shea. Lori Ann Poulet. Blake Kennedy Porter, School of Business Scholar, Magnum Cum Laude. Diana Lee Remigio. Sydney Michelle Roberts. Jennifer Lee Rosebar, cum laude. Bernadette Marie Smith, School of Business Scholar, summa cum laude. Casey Dalton Smith. Sarah Christine Specht, School of Business Scholar, Magnum Cum Laude. Cameron Otis Stewart. Jacob Scott Stroll. Kelly Inez Thomas. Levi Joseph Thompson. Matt Trong. Shou-Yan Wang, School of Business Scholar, Summa Cum Laude, Sibison Award Finalist. Matthew Aline Weaver, School of Business Scholar, Summa Cum Laude. Kennedy Andrew Joseph White, School of Business Scholar, Cum Laude. Yeah. 
Savannah Jean White, cum laude. Chad D. Williams. Austin Lee Whitty. DG, School of Business Scholar, summa cum laude, Sibison Award finalist. Kun Chi, School of Business Scholar, summa cum laude. Yushan Yang. And Luke Riley Yoda. Thank you. Today you have been a part of graduation exercises for the School of Business. We are proud to welcome 78 Bachelor of Business Administration graduates as new alumni to the School of Business and Washburn University. Please join me in recognizing these impressive individuals for their accomplishments by offering them a round of applause. Thank you, David. And now, bachelor's degree candidates from the School of Nursing will be presented by Dr. Monica Scheibmeyer. Will the candidates for the Bachelor of Science in Nursing degree please rise? Oh, yeah. <laughs> President Farley, those before you and in abstentia are candidates for the Bachelor of Science in Nursing degree. I am pleased to present to you now, for the conferring of, the, of their degree, those who have completed their requirements and have been recommended by the faculty. Thank you, Dean. By virtue of the authority vested in me by the Board of Regents of Washburn University, I hereby confer upon those who have completed the requirements Bachelor of Science in Nursing with all the honors, rights, privileges, and responsibilities pertaining thereto. Please be seated until the marshals direct you to stand and come forward. Jennifer Alinde. Susan Joanne Barnett. Summa Cum Laude, School of Nursing Honors. Oops. Yeah, I forgot to mention. Laura Elizabeth Benz, Cum Laude, School of Nursing Scholar. Braxton Bolden, cum laude. Callie, Callie Berzon. <laughs> Lauren Byrne. <laughs> Alisa Marie Carver, cum laude. Melanie Kristen, summa cum laude, School of Nursing Scholar. Samantha Conley. Yeah. 
Malcolm Grant Copeland, cum laude. Amy Cornwell, summa cum laude, School of Nursing Scholar. Sarah Corpolongo. Jessica Corwin. Anne Micah Crowley, magna cum laude, School of Nursing Scholar. Kristen R. Cunningham, magna cum laude, School of Nursing Honors. Mariah Cunningham, Link C. Bonner Scholar. Haley Dacuna, magna cum laude, School of Nursing Scholar. Sarah M. Dempster, summa cum laude, School of Nursing Honors. Mark A. Douglas. Allison Elias, cum laude. Jordan Emmert, summa cum laude, School of Nursing Honors, Siberson nominee. Chloe Van Evans Van, I'm sorry, Chloe Evans Wengler, Wenger, cum laude. That was a tough one. Karis Fisher, cum laude. Natalie Flocker, cum laude, School of Nursing Honors. Brooke Givian, cum laude. Kaylee Getz. David Hazi. Patrick Harris. Justin Hayes. Kayla Hurl, summa cum laude, School of Nursing Honors, Siberson nominee. Miley Hiyani, cum laude. Kirsten Holly, magna cum laude, School of Nursing Scholar. Lacey Taylor Hurlbrink. Daniil Rose Jensen, cum laude. Clara Kidrowski, cum laude. Rachel Kinnett, cum laude, School of Nursing Scholar. Megan Klein, summa cum laude, School of Nursing Scholar. Brandy Lancaster, School of Nursing Scholar. Blair Elise Landon, summa cum laude, School of Nursing Honors, University Honors, Siberson recipient. Morgan Hanana. Hanana? No. Never mind. Mahana. There we go. Morgan Mahana, summa cum laude, School of Nursing Scholar. Sorry. Melissa Dawn Mason. Kaylee McCaffrey, magna cum laude, School of Nursing Scholar. Kara Ann McClure. Abby Mickelson, cum laude. Amanda Brooke Moore. 
Jenna Newman. Joanne Wynn, cum laude. Shakina Jaira Palermo, Palermo, it's cum laude. There we go. Sarah Suzanne Persons, cum laude. Jenna Poulton, summa cum laude, School of Nursing Scholar. Cooper Lynn Rickle. Chelsea Roth, cum laude. Megan Russo, cum laude, School of Nursing Scholar. Bailey Jo Schartz, magna cum laude, School of Nursing Scholar. Jorita Jo Shipley, cum laude, School of Nursing Scholar. Paige Shoemaker. Mallory Smith. Scott Lyman Spasik, cum laude, School of Nursing Honors. Montana Staple. Magna Cum Laude, School of Nursing Scholar. Brenda Stevenson. Catherine Stewart, Summa Cum Laude, School of Nursing Scholar. Kalina Stone, Magna Cum Laude, School of Nursing Scholar. Kelsey Ann Tomachek. Jenna Thompson, magna cum laude, School of Nursing Scholar. <laughs> Kayla Renee Von Wagner. <laughs> Ashton Wagner, cum laude. <laughs> Tiffany Webb, School of Nursing Scholar. Cynthia Ray Wired, Magna Cum Laude, School of Nursing Honors. <laughs> Tiffany Woodruff. <laughs> Zeltwanger. Stacy J. Zeltwanger, Cum Laude. I have to tell you, those are some wonderful people up there. So today you've been part of graduation exercises for the School of Nursing, and we are proud to welcome 79 Bachelor of Science in Nursing graduates as new alumni to the School of Nursing and Washburn University. Please join me in recognizing these impressive individuals for their accomplishments by offering a round of applause. Before concluding this ceremony, graduates, I would like to underscore that this is a moment of transition. You entered Lee Arena as the final step in completing your time as a Washburn University student, and as you leave today, you begin your exciting future by joining thousands of proud Washburn University alumni. In that regard, it now is my pleasure to introduce Don Dennis, Vice President of the Washburn University Alumni Association Board of Directors. On behalf of more than 41,000 Washburn alumni, I congratulate you on your great accomplishment. You are joining alumni from across the nation and around the world who all have the same thing in common with you and me. We are all Ichabods. 
Like them, you have developed a permanent and lasting relationship with Washburn, and your continued involvement will help shape this university for generations of Ichabods who will follow in your footsteps. Throughout the rest of your life, the Alumni Association will continue to keep you connected to Washburn and your classmates. Take with you the packet of information on your chair. It's our gift to you and includes, among other things, a complimentary one-year membership in the Alumni Association. Being a member of the Alumni Association is all the fun of college without the homework and tests. Don't be afraid to get involved and be a part of the fun. Your fellow Ichabod alumni will welcome you with open arms. We wish you happiness, good health, and prosperity. And now, will all graduates please rise and remain standing. First, I would like to say congratulations to all of you. Second, for this to work, make sure your tassels are on the right-hand side. As a symbol of your great achievement, please move the tassel to the left side of your mortarboard to indicate your new status as Washburn alumni. We conclude the spring 2016 commencement with the singing of the alma mater located on the inside cover of your program by members of the Washburn Singers. Please rise and remain standing for the recessional. Graduates, family, and friends, we at Washburn wish you the very best in your future. A song of a
Thank <laughs> you.